That's right. Let's get it. Yo. Life ain't easy, yo, life ain't fair But we won't run cause we ain't scared Gonna pound that bitch till she submits Gotta stay in the fight till it's time to ride Life ain't easy, yo, life ain't fair But we won't run cause we ain't scared Gonna pound that bitch till she submits Gotta stay in the fight till it's time to ride Ride, ride, into the sunset But we ain't done yet, still having fun, bitch Ride, ride, into the sunset But we ain't done yet, still having fun, bitch Yo, what is good, you guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, and guys, I don't know about y'all, but I could definitely go for some more laughs, and uh, yeah, so without further ado, guys, we are about to uh, react to Ryan Upchurch's, uh, <laughs> uh, one of his, uh, I don't know, is it really a roast video, because or is it his reaction video? I guess it's a little bit of both, right? Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. This video is called e qua Lizer, er, er, yeah, three R's. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get right into this thing. So without further ado, like to hey, hey, go. Oh, look at Ben Shapiro comments on Madonna's insane coronavirus bathtub video. One day, two hundred forty-four thousand dollars, bro. Ben Shapiro is the shit. He's like the Eminem of politics, fucking. Hey, bro, no shit. I mean, to... <laughs> I mean, Ben Shapiro, I'm not going to lie, man. He's... Man, this is a dude that I admire, I respect a great deal. Um, I'm going to go take it a little bit step further. Um, Ryan said that he's the Eminem of um, political debates. I do agree with that, but I don't know, I'm going to take it a step further and say that Ben Shapiro is like the Jedi uh, master when it comes to political debates, I just love watching this dude. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> putting these these dumbasses that think they know better uh, in their place. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's fun just watching uh, Ben own these people, man. If you guys want, I I would definitely would I definitely would not mind doing any uh, Ben Shapiro debate reactions. Um, if you want me to do that, uh, let me know with both a thumbs up and a comment down below if you're down for that. All right. Let's go ahead and get back into this thing. I think that what the, this quarantine has shown more than anything else, what, the, what this whole lockdown has shown more than anything else, is that celebrities desire attention. Bro, they're clout chasing coronavirus, fucking. Do you know how petty you have to be to clout chase a fucking virus, fucking? Bro, that's facts, man. I mean, talk about being desperate for attention and relevancy. I mean, you gotta be, like so far down there you know what i'm saying in that in that desperation pit if you will uh to be cloud chasing a freaking virus releasing videos of themselves singing imagine and why they are on instagram talking about how life is really difficult at their palatial estates and everything like listen celebrities we don't care here's the thing about celebrities that many of them don't <clears throat> really understand we don't care that much about you when you are not reading a line like when you're not reading a line, you're just not all that interesting. What makes you interesting is the lines you're reading, you're good at acting, right? Exactly. We pay our hard-earned scratch to buy a movie ticket to see you act. Not to see you post it up in your in your hot tub telling everyone to get in the house and do it now. Stay in the house. Stay home. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Arnold. Mr. Rich, elite, privileged... Motherfucker getting chill in your hot tub and telling us to stay home? Fuck you. Off, off screen, when I'm not doing politics, I gotta say, my life is fairly boring. Okay, I think that most celebrities don't understand this, since they think they have very important things to say, even when they're doing bizarre things. True as fuck. Like, you know how many celebrities I've seen come out? They're like, oh, coronavirus? Let me tell you about it. Bitch, you ain't a fucking scientist. You ain't a motherfucking doctor. Did a video Facts. yesterday from her bathtub. I've seen this video. Dude, it looks like the trailer of a fucking scary movie or something. Bruh, I, I, I've i seen other people <clears throat> react to this crazy video with uh, Madonna. Everyone's pretty much said the same thing. Even I, even I was saying it too before I even heard it, man. It's like, this looks like um like a trailer for like a horror movie. You know what I mean? And um, it, it reminds me of this show on Cartoon Network. I can't think of the freaking name of it though. Where you saw this crazy woman 
um, she was all like, she, she looked hella freaky, a white face, her hair was white, she had these crazy demonic looking eyes, she had this crazy laugh, like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean, some of you might know what I'm talking about, I just can't remember that damn show, let me know in the comments down below, but that's what it looked like, you know, with Madonna in the bathtub, which you're about to see. She's all like trying to talk like, this is what's gonna happen, everyone's gonna blow in this together, we're gonna die about how coronavirus is the greatest equalizer in the world. She said from her bathtub that has rose petals in it, just like everybody else who's like normal, right? Like I know that, that when I give my child a bath, I have rose petals in there because like that's the way I, I, I run. Yeah, she's like, okay, we're gonna make it really milky. We're gonna make the water all milky like those, those models do when they take the milky model pictures. And then after that, we're gonna sprinkle some rose petals in it to, so people know that we're royal. And and I, I want to know how is it that Madonna was able to do this video um, after that little um, stunt she pulled at the Women's March when she, when she said she thought about, I think she either she thought about or dreamt about blowing up the White House. How is it that this woman did not get arrested in a federal prison and taken to a federal prison after saying that, after, you know, Letting out that outburst is beyond me. No, nah, you know what? It's not beyond me. I know exactly why. Privilege. Yeah. She's privileged. She's so damn spoiled in her in her priv in her privilege. They let her talk about blowing up the White House and still be free. Must be nice. And then, and then when I'm done being a royal milky bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna say some crazy stuff about coronavirus and we're gonna post it on Twitter. And it's, it, we're gonna put it on Twitter. It's gonna be so trendy. Everyone's gonna want milky rose petals in their bathtub. Is <laughs> Madonna explaining to all of us about the equality of coronavirus from her presumably multi million dollar estate in a bathtub filled with rose petals like any normal human being? <laughs> Fist bump! Ben <laughs> Shapiro, bad motherfucker, you. COVID 19, it doesn't care about. How rich you are. What in the name of the Adams family? Bruh, she sounds like Wednesday Adams with her the way that she sounds all like dark and depressed and Yeah. How famous you are. It doesn't care who you are, how famous you are. Uh, tell me, tell me, she don't sound like Wednesday Adams. Ooh. Yeah, Brian, Ryan, <laughs> my sentiments exactly. <laughs> Dude, how famous you are! <laughs> how famous you are! <laughs> you scary ass motherfucker! How smart you are! For real. Where you live? You, you know what? It, what it looks like? She's bathing in right. It, it looks like she's bathing in a tub that's filled with some sexual eruption. Oh. Bruh, seriously. It looks like she's bathing in some sexual eruption. I need to find my place because I said it back. I'm being a royal it's gonna be so trendy. Rose petals like any normal human being. Motherfucker, you. COVID-19, it doesn't... God. Where's, where's Snoop Dogg when you need him? Oh, that's right, he's busy getting punked by the government. Anyway, let's get back into this. Care about how rich you are. How famous you are. How famous you are. How famous you are. <laughs> you scary ass motherfucker. How smart For real. You Where you live. Titties. How old you are. Boobs. Milky <laughs> Rose boobs. What amazing stories you can tell. The cleavage. In the background. Is this supposed to be like dark? Fucking. 
What is that? Maybelline? I just don't know. Maybe it's Maybelline. <clears throat> Let me look at this. What the fuck are you supposed to think? <laughs> like, <laughs> and why is she sitting like that? Fucking. Look at that. Look at, look at her neck muscle. Fucking. <laughs> is that a Pikachu? Fucking. <laughs> it looks like a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna, you Thunderbolt. <laughs> it's the great equalizer. I'm sorry, I just paused it again, but what the fuck? It's the great equalizer. <laughs> We're all gonna get microchips in our, implanted in our wrists. It's, it's a huge equalizer. <laughs> you sound like a Halo character, fucking. It's the equalizer. I know, because I'm sitting in a Milky Rose pad. She does sound like a Halo character. <laughs> but like I said, Wednesday Adams was like that too. Jesus Christ. I'm talking about Wednesday Adams from the 90s uh, Adams Family movies. <laughs> All monotone and dark. And only talks about dark, deadly things. Oh, my bad. Elf and it's the equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these celebrities? And then they pan over and there's just some random dude playing the piano in her bathroom while she's naked in her bathtub filled with rose petals. Okay, celebrities, they need dark. So there's not just a dude with the camera that's shooting the whole thing, but there's a dude <laughs> playing, <laughs> playing the piano in the background. Man, I can only imagine what those two fools are thinking. It's like, okay, we got these cameras set up, we got this bathtub scene going on. I mean, I mean, we, we ain't nothing but mammals, so we can do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Uh, getting horned now. Our attention. Don't give it to them. I just defeated my own rule. Giving attention to Madonna, who is so desperate for attention. Also, yes, that's true. That, that's exactly what this is, man. Desperation for her attention. And, yep, see? Look at this. Freaking Joker fell over because he knows it's all bullshit. He's like, man, why are you wasting your time on this? Because it's funny. Anyway. <clears throat> COVID-19, it's also just called death. Like, death, death generally tends to be a pretty great equalizer. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think that maybe it's time to dump our celebrity culture. Is that fair? Can we, can we be done with this? That would be a really enjoy great equalizer. Oh, hold up. So, yeah, guys, that was um, Ryan Upchurch reacting to uh, the Ben Shapiro reacting to uh, Madonna's video. Yeah, I don't know, man. Freaking Madonna's on one. Of course, isn't she always on one? I know she put up another video, too, where uh, before this, she was she was singing a parody of um, uh, Vogue. When, and... <laughs> She looked like um she looked like a drunken prom date trying to sing karaoke. <laughs> it was terrible. But yeah, guys, that was uh up church with uh equalizer er er. And um yeah. Let me know if you're digging this reaction. You know what I'm saying? Uh with the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on how y'all feel. And uh, leave any and all uh, insights and or feedback in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for your review. Very much appreciate that. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing to the Jason JV channel so you can be part of the family. Would very much love to have you. All that fun stuff, guys. And until the next one, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying y'all take care. And I will catch you all in the next one. All right. Peace. Great equalizer.